Hello everybody, and welcome to a vlog. Um, and actually today, it's partly what's going to be happening with, um, sort of what's going to happen now after Mirror's Edge is gone, which means now all I do is Fallout and that's it. But also, I got this thing. Um, one second, stand up. It's a neat shoulder holster, which works fairly well. Um, you know, the uh, problem is it bends down to, goes down to low. Uh, I don't think it's tight enough. Shoot, I've got the gun stuck. There we go. This is actually my brother's Nerf gun. It's not a Nerf gun. There we go. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to grab my coat out too. Um, yeah, I'm going to be soon. I'm, I'm just sort of trying, uh, I'm trying some stuff with this just to see if actually I can continue sort of wearing it in normal conditions for filming. I was expecting it to arrive by next Friday. Actually works really well. <laughs> Hidden. Um yeah. Just gone. Um so yeah. But anyway, um that's not the main reason. As I said, partly something to do with what's gonna happen now that Mirror's Edge is sort of finished. I'm unlikely to go back to the original Mirror's Edge game. What I think I'm more likely to do, and now I have Uncharted 3, which isn't as good, but it's the remastered version, so it's as good as it's going to get. I'm also going to, eventually, get Uncharted 1 and Uncharted 2, probably in that order, because I'm not that interested in Uncharted 2. I know there's a lot of people who really like it, but I'm, I've never played it, I must admit, as I said, don't have it, but I'm not as interested in it than the other ones. So anyway, um, so yeah, so I'm likely to go to Uncharted 3, and less likely to go to something like, um, for instance, that Assassin's Creed Black Flag, which I now have. I'm unlikely to make that as a proper series. I put one, but I might remove that one and just put a little, like, dash thing just to separate the title of the game and the title of, sort of, the episode. So that, because I'm unlikely to do another episode, but I might do. So, yeah, so it's, it's unlikely, but I might do one of more of those, and that's going to the random gameplay playlist. Need to edit my channel stuff. Actually, I just remember that. Also, um, model gun. A little bit of an update on that. I have one piece. Is this it? Yeah, this is it. There. And I was going to print out another one until I've now realised that I have a problem. The um other side of the. I don't know what it's called, this part, so, not the hand, so, yeah, not the handle and not the barrel, but sort of the main part, I, in Fallout they call it the receiver, um, if it gets a thumbnail with me holding this gun, this is going to look really menacing for an episode, um, but yeah, so this is the handle part, I'm probably going to print it again because I'm going to wrap it in leather, and that's what's going to expand it and also make it work better. So, yeah, so out of all of that, that means that I have one piece. Yeah, it's this part. Actually, the um, the trigger and the, uh, I don't know what that part there is called, um, are connected. But yeah, but I was planning originally just to copy it and just flip it around, but that doesn't work. Or at least from what I know, it's not going to work. I don't know, maybe on SketchUp there's a mirror effect or something that I can just do, which will just reverse it round, and then that make, that way then I don't need to completely redo it, um, of removing all the stuff and all that, and also having to find the image again with both sides, and then remove all the stuff I don't need and all of that. So yeah, so this is currently just what I've got. Uh, so yeah, so the next part is printing this out again, tomorrow, maybe. Uh, I might not print it out tomorrow, I might print it out on Monday. And then on Tuesday, I'll have hopefully the barrel. Wednesday, I may have one half of that. The other half is probably going to be really hard to make because, as I said, I need to make it as a reverse version. Just trying to think, though, how they did it. I'm going to have to do some fiddling around. But, uh, yeah, it may not work the way I was hoping it to. And yeah, now I may need to find everything else. Uh, other thing for this 
episode was actually going to be a little bit about Gordon, not like Gordon J. Roger. So my, if you don't know who that is, Skyrim and Fallout character. Um, I haven't done any Fallout episodes in a while. I'll do what Friday or Saturday. Uh, but what I, I'm going to do with with Gordon, there's a slight problem. And originally, I I, um, I thought Gordon was really going to be quite popular in some ways. So yeah, so I thought he was going to be better than in some ways he was, and I really like the character, but in some ways I don't really think of him better than other ones that I have, like, um, Faith and Nate, sort of the default characters, because they have history and things like that. Um, and then there's also characters like Dr. Limmer and things, characters I created ages ago, which don't really have a history, like, Dr. Limmer doesn't have much of a history that I've come up with, and neither does Gordon. Gordon's meant to be, like, he was born around about the same time as sort of Halo, Mm, a little bit before that, it was like uh, the century, towards the end of the 24th century. And when I say 24th, this is where I always make the mistake. When I say 24th century, I mean the century with 24 at the start. It's not uh, the century Halo takes place in, like the actual main point of the game. Um, so, anyway, so he was like 24 or 90 something. So he's, he was born quite close to the end of that, and disappeared sort of just at the very start. So it was before the events of Halo, but it was near the time. And, yeah, and anyway, uh, and then he ends up at 1066, and I'm still sort of working on that, but I think I was meant to have him build a time machine, but I'm not sure if he's actually meant to be that smart to be actually able to do that, so maybe he might have been part of an experiment or something like that, so anyway, I'm going to figure out how to do that. But also... Um, I recently watched a video about character creations. Now, I already heard about this slightly through Nate, when they say how Nate has some um, flaws and things like that, like slight difficulties in his personality that make him more relatable, and in some ways I didn't think that was perfectly essential. But when I then looked at, um, you know, when I watched the video, I did then sort of realise what he meant, because also recently I've been doing parkour and I've managed, to, I haven't like cut my finger, I've just like pierced a bit of the skin, but there's a, there are two walls we are actually trying to climb up. One of them is by the garden, I might film at some point, but it's got sort of, no it doesn't, it just says B&B, &B. Um, but anyway, uh, it just has that there, and we can scale that, it's quite easy to. It's got a lot of holes in the wall and you can just climb it. The other one that we were trying to climb is incredibly smooth. There is basically nowhere to put your feet and nowhere to grab onto. You can grab onto the top, but there's nowhere for you to put your feet, which will then support you and then actually be able to get you get it far enough that you could then reach around the other side of sort of the wall and then you can pull yourself up. And the guy did an example basically about uh, sort of the idea of a climbing wall and things like that. So, you know... A perfect character, so for instance, Gordon, uh, ha is basically incredibly smooth, you know, it, um, there's no sort of difficulties that I've so far stated he has, the difficulties are more my difficulties, because obviously I control him and it's a choice game, and, and he always seems to be with everyone's size, he's not aggressive, he doesn't really have any, anything like that. That's then trying to climb up that wall that I said that's just really smooth and really hard, it's like basically trying to climb up this wall behind me. Then, you know, then you've got the other one, which is, you know, and then I'm going to go with Nate, which has flaws, so then that means, you know, flaws is in F-L-A-W, I should have said that before, if you don't actually know, it's not flaws is in, you know, building. But anyway, um, and yeah, so that wall itself actually has flaws, it's, slight, it's slightly curved, and it's got lots of little missing bricks and crumbled away parts that then you can use as footholds, and you can sort of get you... You could sort of relate then to the character. So I realise now I need to give Gordon... If I want Gordon to be slightly more likeable in some ways, I need him to have... I've just picked this up off my desk. Um, sort of... I don't know. Sort of, you know, problems and things like that. Stuff that you can't really do. Um, and for instance, I just thought of one thing which you have to do in the game. And that was ang a lot of anger. That was like... um. What was it? Uh, the bit when you fight Kellogg. That wasn't filmed, but it's got to happen in Fallout 4. You've got to kill Kellogg. I don't know if that will ever be mentioned again, 
But you know, that's still part of the law. I haven't changed that part with Gordon, even though he has a slightly separate story. You know, like, it's not... Sean isn't really his son, it was the neighbor's son who sort of was dying and Gordon looked after the kid and yeah, for about two years. And that's why he sort of classes it as his son. That's sort of Gordon's story, he never actually got married. This does raise the question for why he has two wedding rings. Uh, one of them was his own, the one he wears all the time, that was the chip. But I'm not sure where the other one came from, maybe he found it, I don't know. Uh, when I write an actual story on this, there will be a reason why there's another wedding ring. Um, I don't know, maybe he was going to get married. Um, so yeah, so anyway. So, uh, you know, that was one of them. Another one I thought of was that Gordon gets really bored really quick. And I don't know if I've ever stated this, but Gordon chose to go to the Fallout Dimension. Technically, it wasn't even the Fallout Dimension, it was just travelling further in time. So he sort of stayed in the Skyrim universe and just leap forwards in time. I told him that there were going to be nukes. He didn't really care. He also assumed that he was going to be further in the past to when the nukes fell. But, you know, the nukes fell. He has now an adventure. It's not killing him. He can re he can very quickly adjust to new conditions, basically. Um, that's a natural talent. That's not actually his dimensioned power. His dimensioned power is actually being able to be kept in any temperature below the normal body temperature, and that's why he was frozen. Well, that's how he could survive being frozen. My face went really weird. Um, so, yeah. So, that's one of the flaws. You know, Gordon can lose his temper and go a little bit overexcited. excited was in that last episode when um, we found... What was his name? I don't remember his name. The bad guy that we've been trying to find with Nick for ages. I cannot remember. It's got a picture of him in the thumbnail, but anyway. Uh, I'm really annoyed now. I can't remember his name. What was it? Ah, oh, that's going to annoy me for the rest of the day. Um, which isn't going to be long. Um, so yeah, so Gordon's obviously got sort of problems, the anger, the boredom. So, yeah. And that's sort of what this episode was for. So, Uncharted 3 will be like this combat, but maybe even Minecraft, the PC version. I'm going to go through multiple skins as this as the series sort of goes on. I'll have like three episodes with this Firefly version myself, which actually is sort of my favourite skin with the coat. I have another version of myself, which was like the original version of myself, which was on the Xbox, what I wanted to be on the Xbox. Black jacket, jeans, white shirt. And then there's another one with me just with a purple jacket instead. And there's the one which has the grey collar, uh, this coat um, without the gun holster. I just realised I can't do that. Um, and, yeah, and the jeans, slightly darker ones, I think, and, yeah. So, and even the shoes I'm wearing right now, which are, like, David Tennant shoes. If you don't know Doctor Who, then you won't know what I'm talking about, but, you know, those, like, uh, the Tenth Doctor's, uh, I think it was the sound shavings, but they're, like, red and more like boots. So, anyway, um, yeah, so I actually left my USB stick at school, that's why nothing else has been printed on this gun. Because I left it at school. I was so worried because I couldn't find it. Turns out I left it in tech over the weekend and the bank holiday and Tuesday and Wednesday. And then I've only just found out today. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, there was a reason why I couldn't find it. Anyway, so I'm going to put this in the background. Probably <sighs> hanging... Oh, God, the seats. Uh, probably hanging on that over there. I might put it there now. I think it's like slightly off. Ever, um, with the gun part, um, it's slightly wonky because I think I need to tighten this by maybe one more. But yeah, that's about it, I think. So anyway, oh god, that seat. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to think of how to do this. Um, I'm gonna put it up like this. That'll do. <laughs> so yeah, uh. Thanks for watching, and see you later. Bye.